Hello and welcome to this video about um, electrolysis and specifically we're looking at electroplating and that is when you want to coat an object in a particular metal and you use electrolysis to do that. So for example you might want to coat a pan in copper or you might want to coat a spoon in silver for example and to do that you'd use electrolysis. So a normal electrolysis, you, in a very simple diagram, you'll have the electrolyte and then two electrodes sticking out of that and connecting to a power supply. Now all you do in electroplating is change the negative electrode for the object that you want to plate. So if we take the example of a spoon, you would quite simply put the spoon or the object that you want to plate as the negative electrode and for the positive electrode you would have a piece of the metal that you would want to coat the spoon with. So for example we could suggest that this was silver and this is the spoon that we want to plate to make it a silver plated spoon and we'd use these as our electrodes. And then the other important thing is the electrolyte that we use so we still have to put this in an electrolyte to, to carry the current so the electrolyte that we use has to contain the ions that we want to plate the spoon with so it has to contain in this case silver ions so the electrolyte has to contain um, silver ions in this case. So it could be something like silver nitrate that you could use as the um, electrolyte to plate the spoon in silver. So what will happen is you'll get the positive silver ions moving from the positive electrode and from the solution to coat the spoon here and at the negative electrode it will gain electrons so you'll have reduction happening and it will turn into silver atoms which will then coat the spoon and this will then be covered in silver. Similarly you could do the same thing um, with something that you wanted to coat in copper. So you'd have your piece of copper as your positive electrode and you would have, um, let's say, for example, it could, it could be a um, metal pan, for example, that you'd want to coat in copper, and that could be your negative electrode. And we then need to choose an electrolyte containing copper, so it could be something like copper sulfate. And that would then mean that the copper ions would move from the positive electrode to the negative electrode and coat the pan in copper. So the couple of key points that we need um, to make sure we're doing when we're talking about electroplating, um, first of all is the object that you want plating has to be on the negative electrode. And secondly, the electrolyte must contain the ions that you want to plate with. So the ions of the metal you want to plate with. Okay, so sometimes, I wrote this down really specifically because sometimes in questions they'll say um, so-and-so has set up this equipment to electroplate a spoon, why is it not working? And it might be that the spoon is at the wrong electrode 
or that perhaps they're using um, uh, an inappropriate electrolyte for the electroplating to work. So that's the summary of the electroplating for you. If you found that useful, then um, please like the video below and subscribe if you want to watch further videos.